Okay, watching the noon o'clock news today. This, uh, in which today is uh, Wednesday, February 28th, and this is an example of a hailstone that came down during last night's uh, thunderstorm. Uh, this was not in my uh, lo yeah, in my locale, if you want to say. Um, I think it was in Kalamazoo County. I'm not sure what. Um, it says Brownlee Park, and I'm not sure exactly where Brownlee Park is. But anyways, uh, yeah, kind of a strange looking hailstone, if you will. Uh, just very curious shape to it. Of course, hailstones do come in many various shapes and formations, but uh, I, I did want to just share this with you. And like I said, um, as far as my knowledge, we didn't have any uh, hail situations in my area. So, with that being said, uh, we shall see you on the flip side. Okay, yeah, welcome back to the flip side here. Um, okay, so they're just reporting on this uh, as well within the noon o'clock news uh, that we did, in fact, have a tornado that touched down here in Michigan, uh, which, of course, that, that kind of goes hand-in-hand -hand with, with the hail activity um, under tornadic uh, scenarios. So, that is just that much more of the seriousness of what hit Michigan last night in regards to all of this very strange weather that we have been having and bouncing back and forth from springtime conditions to winter conditions and and vice versa. You know, it is, it's crazy. Uh, this is nonsense that needs to stop. Um, and we know that this is all being generated artificially. Um, and, and, and furthermore, while I'm on the subject, they, they'd also brought up the factor of a house explosion uh, somewhere uh, w within this region, uh, televised region. I, I guess I should clarify that point there. Um, and this is something else that is uh, head scratching, to see, to say the least, is how many of these places have just been mysteriously exploding, okay, and with some very strange uh, backgrounds or histories of these locations and to these dwellings or buildings. Um, you know, everything is connected out there, people. So, we're, we're seeing more and more of this artificialness and syntheticness to life, okay? Don't turn a blind eye to it, and, and please do not comply or accept a lot of the foolishness and narratives that's going on out there today. Uh, there's more than meets the eye with all events and scenarios that take place. So, with that being said, just keep in mind what I've shown, what I've stated. Give it some thought. Share your thoughts. And have a great Wicked Wednesday if it is a Wicked Wednesday for you. <laughs> and we'll see you again on that flip side. Yeah, and I'm back again reporting from this flip side. Um, and, okay, so as far as that explosion uh, that I had made mention of, that was actually a house explosion that took place in Detroit. And I think it took the lives of two children, and I think that's why they were reporting on it. But still, the aspects of all these places just exploding, um, you have to 
figure that into the overall equations of, of reality these days, much like what I'm showing here now, okay, and I have a lot of issues with these uh, wildfires, uh, and of course, we've seen this happening year after year after year, um, and what has been recently reported, thanks to social media, um, much like that in Maui, uh, Hawaii, to where they had the fires there and everything that was reported um, and documented through uh, uh, video recordings, um, or I should say through recordings <laughs> and videos. But, so, yeah, it's kind of, you know, I, I wish I could be more of a participant and, and I don't know how to say it. I want to be a bigger player in, in, you know, in exposing this type of stuff, but I can only do what I can do and, well, I guess I will have to suffice, but this is, is really disturbing to me uh, because we know a lot of these is actually begun through artificial means. Yeah, okay, but anyways, with that being said, I need to carry on with this day. Um, take care once again. We'll see you on this flip side. So, it is currently 1.30 p.m., and we are still having a little bit of snowfall. Uh, this is our sky at the current time. Uh, so it is still a little bit windy, but it is getting a little bit. Well, we we have our our big gusts of winds, such as like what we are getting right now. But otherwise, uh, everything seems to be getting a little bit lighter, including the sky itself. It was quite a little bit darker. Um, oh, got the neighborhood loudmouth canine. I didn't realize he was out, out today. But anyways, uh, so I am taking you on uh, my every other day, give or take, walk downtown. Uh, typically down to our local Dollar General store, and and I and I say uh, walk. For me, it's more of a limp, and I'm trying not to do as much because it does affect the bounce of my recording here um, and which yeah I had a lot of sidewalk repairs being made over the last couple days uh, once again you know there's reasons why I don't take the sidewalks <laughs> yeah You never know when when there might be a hole lurking about. But anyway, so this walk itself is uh, basically a, a round trip for me. It is oh, about a quarter of a mile long, give or take. Um, actually, I think it's just a little bit longer than a quarter mile. And for those of you that uh, do metric me measurements and whatnot. I'll let you figure that one out yourselves. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's do this so we're not catching any license plate numbers and whatnot. So anyways, <laughs> pardon me. With all this being said, oh, hey, check this out. I, that's a big old beehive right there, or a wasp nest. Uh, that was like wind chilly. 
Ooh-wee. So, wow. So anyways, uh, so the distance that I'm walking is approximately the, about that of our local uh, sports track, motor uh, motorsports uh, drag strip. Uh, yeah, a lot of events get hold there, held there, and, and uh, in the future, I just, I just might get down there and, and do a few recordings. Let's go ahead and do a little jaywalk in here. Our jay limping, and yeah, so this, this wind has been uh, kind of fierce around here, as you can see, the utility flag uh, has been blown over. So yeah, they're doing a lot of underground electrical work around here. Uh, you got to keep that. Uh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta, gotta keep that grid work alive, right? I'm sorry, I'm getting like big old snowflakes blowing my, my eyeballs. Yeah. So anyways, this, this will be included. Uh, there goes one of our uh, Department of Health and Human Services uh, vehicles. And of course, I'm just walking right on across here. I just don't care. Wow, it is like really coming down, people. <sighs> so, anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. And we'll see you on the flip side. I don't believe there's going to be any more recording done for today. This is, this is about it. <laughs> yeah. All right, take care of one and all. Once again, we'll see you on that flip side when it should come about. 1.40 p.m., I'm only in there for scantily but a few minutes, and what a change just that amount of time can make <laughs> or be. Um, yeah, I better hurry up so I can cut across in front of any cars that might be coming. And oh, traffic is clear. Let's let's go ahead and do a, go a step further, and yeah, we'll, we're gonna go diagonally <laughs> across the whole intersection. You can do this kind of stuff in, in small towns and villages like this, and no biggie. But anyways, um, I've got some. heavy purchases and and I need to shut this off and get back so I can take care of this stuff I need to take a little more food out there to those cray baby cats and uh, and the rest of the day I don't know the way it's starting to, to look it's hard telling very hard telling. So, okay. Once again, we'll see you on that flip side. Take care. And thank you for being on this little limp, limp long of a walk with me. Later. Oh, the weather out here is frightful. But, look at this. Look at this, people. Those are robins. We have robins back. It's not even March yet. Wow. Oh man. And this this wind. Whoa. It has blown me away. Ooh, doggy. Uh, oh, these poor old birds. Uh, yeah. They always come back. Just to get that last blast of nastiness that we generally have. But wow, Robin's already get out of town. 
and you know, uh, wow, that took my breath away. Ooh. And so you know what that means in conjunction with the sighting of the robins today and having the bee on my arm yesterday. Uh, yeah, spring is on its way and the hummingbird should be too. Uh, and it's like way too early for those people. <sighs> yeah, our seasons are just way off kilter. Ooh, we and, and the temperature has dropped big time. I mean, wow, that wind chill factor. Holy Moses. I mean, you, you can see here. Look at that flag. Oh, here it comes again. Whoa, Nelly. Oh, ooh, we. Yeah, we're going to be having some uh, fallen trees and branches today, that's for certain. Oh. Oh, wow, Morgan, you really know how to pick the days to go out and about. Ooh. Oh, well, that's made for some, some good recording. Okay, I'm going to check my mail, and then I'm headed up and getting this posted. So we'll, we'll see you all. Oh, here comes another blast, and my hands are like numb, froze up big time. I'm out here just uh, jacket, uh, tennis shoes, no socks on, baseball cap. <laughs> yeah, that's how I do my hiking. <laughs> I go hardcore. There goes Robin. Okay, people, so on that note, we'll see you on the flip side. Take care. All right, I thought I was going to be done, but now that I'm back here in my apartment at 2 p.m., this thing is really starting to break through. And... And if that's the case, there could be quite a lot of things to be recorded and shared, but once again, I think I'm just going to take the rest of this day off. So, that being said, have a great one, and this time, we'll see you on that flip side.